Check, 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 check in the red. Howdy folks, Mikey McKernan here, AKA Booha Man, AKA is not funny. Tonight, I'm not booked, that's true. I'm not booked on a gig tonight, so what am I gonna do? Well, it's time to get to work, okay? Work on some newer material tonight. It's open Mikey. It's open Mikey. Open Mikey. This is what's my setup on my television right there. You see that? This is the way. Did you guys watch season three? I did. I loved it. I love Star Wars. I love to watch and read Star Wars all day, every day. We even got one of my other favorite characters right here. Chopper! This is not a Star Wars vlog, okay? This is a stand-up comedian vlog. Going to Orange County, we're gonna, the goal is to hit two spots. Beer Company Brewery in Anaheim, California, and Proof Bar in Santa Ana, California. So, that's the goal. But before that, I'm gonna go actually roll with someone else, my buddy Jackson Britt. I used to work with him at a restaurant back in the Dizzy. He tried to dabble in a little stand-up comedy. I don't remember why he walked away, wasn't really into it. Years later he's back on the horse he's got his own channel for the memoir we're gonna have him talk about that talk about comedy and then we're gonna do a little you know open mikey so i'm gonna go pick him up then we're gonna road trip down to orange county and then work on some jokes what jokes right now it's just sugar daddy see here's my list of jokes write things down i have to i have to i have to write things down and it's funny because there's probably be like five minutes each and every time I'm working on new material because I have such little jokes it's so funny because I get so excited if I got like either like four or five of them only a minute and a half and I'll have like five minutes so I get so excited and I'm like yeah here are these jokes and I'll look down and be like how much time have I done wow just a minute and a half you got three and a half more minutes double the time you just did so you have to keep working on as many jokes as you possibly can but sugar daddy that one's going down. I like Girl Podcast, even though it hasn't been working. Studio Laugher, I haven't tried that one enough. Pranks, that one didn't work. Don't think it's gonna go. Mistakes, that one might, we'll see. And then anti-comedy, I like. True Crime and Rock Climbing. True Crime and Rock Climbing are pretty good. But that's it, all right? Two mics, gonna bring Jackson along. We're gonna be in the car. We're gonna be stuck in traffic. No adventure today. No history lessons, no adventures, but hopefully we got some fun activities, adventures coming up in the future. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram, okay? I'm trying to promote myself constantly, always, forever, but I've been so freaking busy. This was the last vlog. I don't know if you remember, but I talked about how I was gonna do a vlog on a Monday and go hit mics and maybe try to hit some other spots and stuff like that because Mondays are my only day off. So if I get gigs on Monday, I'm like, yes. Or if I have time to do open mics, it's always on Monday. So I don't go, I don't get to go to a lot of different mics. That's why we're gonna go to Orange County and do that. Over explaining, always, constantly. Did you know there was a Walt Disney Goofy cartoon called Hockey Homicide? Yeah, you don't see that on Disney Plus because they're not gonna put homicide on there unless they wanna retitle it. But then again, that's, I don't know, disrespectful to the original creators. I had to get that movie poster. Have you seen it? I hope you guys have. It's out there. Please watch it. Goofy. That's the intro. There's me doing that from the living room. Very rare living room vlogging. Yeah. High ceilings, so it's loud. Green screen. That's where we do our self-tape auditions. Oh yeah, I have. I got a really good text message today from one of my old commercial agents, and they're like, "Yo, one of the commercials you did, they want to put it back out there. So we're gonna talk some numbers. What does that mean? Basically means I get paid again. <laughs> we'll see. Don't want to get too excited, but that can help my life because then I can work less and then I can do more stand up, which means more clicking again. Follow me on Instagram, put all my dates in my bio now. So we're like, where are you gonna see you? Boom, 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 boom. Not saying those right now because <laughs> don't know when this will come out because I'm so busy. I'm editing the Costa Mesa vlog right now, even though it'll be out when this comes out. What, what? I know this sounds like I'm done. All right, it's fun, all right, see you later. No, we haven't got started yet, but. All right, let's go pick up Jackson. Let's do some stand-up comedy. You're on the stand-up adventure vlogs. You know my name, Mikey McKernan. Let's boogie. Oh, there he is. Jackson Britt. What's up, man? Jackson, what's up, dude? How you doing? Are you recording too? Yeah. 
Right now? Yeah. Is this Dueling Vlogs? Yep, shameless. That's Mikey. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, guys. Mikey's got the stickers on his camera. I don't have that. No. I've got the merch on, though. What's this? This is the For the Memoir merch. That's cool. Are you excited to open my comedy tonight? Yeah, I am, man. Cool. I'm nervous. I don't want to bomb in front of you. I mean, I'll bomb too as well. So Hell yeah. We'll be in this together. Other people will bomb though. So. Let's go. I'm pumped. All right. Well, it's we're probably <laughs> going to get there a lot earlier than I expected. So we'll have time to, I don't know, we can talk to our selfies. We can vlog or something. Yeah. Do you want to get both of us in the frame? Yeah. No, like in the same frame. Oh, oh, the same oh, frame. oh, oh. I was just <laughs> Sorry. This has got to be on the vlog as well, too. See, we're driving to open mics. We're going to the beer company. I said that already in Anaheim, and then I said we're going to go to Proof Bar in Santa Ana, but I think we're going to change our mind. We're going to try to go to Hennessy's and do a mixed mic because I think that will be fun. Right? Yeah, it'll be great. Jackson, how's it going? It's good, man. I'm good. When was the last time we hung out? It's been like six years. Has it been that long? Six, seven years. This is crazy. Mike used to have this. Who, who follows you? Mostly comics? I don't know why. Are you worried about it now? No. But Mikey used to have an open mic called Turbo Tuesdays. Damn, that's so disrespectful. And it was it not an open mic? No, I had to book that show every It was a show. It was a show. It was a show. And there's some people who know about Turbo Tuesdays. I've talked about it on this vlog. What was the bartender's name? Kellyanne. There's a lady named Kellyanne that used to show up with her own liquor and she would give you a beer for four bucks and an extra shot that she would provide. You want a shot, Saka? And we used to get smashed. You're interested in doing stand-up comedy. Yep. And you did a couple times, and I'm pretty sure Turbo Tuesdays was probably one of the last times you did comedy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what that show would definitely do. Damn, I can't believe it's been six years we haven't hung out, and now you're back doing stand-up comedy. Yep, I'm back. I basically did stand-up for about a year, but I was an alcoholic, and I was 24, and I had no idea about life, blah, blah, blah. Now I've been sober for five years, and, nice. I, and I wanted to give it like a fair shot. Like now that I'm 30, I have things to say. Yeah, I just wanted to try it again. I love it. Yeah. When you hit 30, you're like, now I got things to say. I started when I was 23, and I was like, this is great. People should follow me and listen to what I have to say. I tried when I was 18 years old. I mean, I tried a couple of times, because I thought like, what, what, what real responsibility do I have other than my job? It's like to take the trash out. And I was like, that's, no one relates to that. I still live at home. That's freaking awesome, man. And then uh, you've just been back into it for what, two months now, you said? I've been back into it for two months and something new is happening this time around. People are actually laughing at my jokes. <sighs> Because when I was <laughs> when I was doing it before, I was smashed, and I thought Pokemon puns were funny. Oh yeah. And I, I would mean, do seven minutes of Pokemon puns. People will probably agree that they still are <laughs> funny, especially when you are smashed. So. No, it was horrible. You also have your own YouTube channel, right? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. It's called For the Memoir, and the whole idea is to go out and live a more adventurous and fun life. Merch on and everything. Give me a follow if you want to just see me do crazy adventures. I did like an electric skateboard race on a hundred thirty year old racetrack. I did like Hawaiian Fear Factor out in Hawaii where we ate these giant tentacles and it's fun. It's a lot of fun and there's I probably think, gonna be a lot, a lot of stand-up on there too. I think that's great. I love that you have that because it's comics we always want to make fun of things where it's like oh for the memoir but you're still posting on social media you know you're still trying to be like oh I want to monetize my hobby and stuff but something like that is actually very enriching because you are gonna live experiences especially as comedians in Los Angeles particularly, you know, we feel like that the only way we're gonna be relevant is to go out every single night to open mics and try to write as many jokes as we possibly can, perform more and more. But when you live in that lifestyle, you realize that is a tiny little bubble that only open mic comics know about. So going off on adventures and living your life for like, you know, a book or for the memoir, that's gonna be fulfilling and for one, you're gonna find actually substance to talk about on stage and share with people because mostly I feel like that's what everyone wants to hear is just experiences or themselves talking like I am too much right now. I should have you sell my YouTube channel. Well, that was great. Did you like what I just said there? Yeah, it was wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to drive too as well. <laughs> I feel safe. I'm good. I'm glad. See, folks, I'm a safe driver, all right, even though I keep looking over. But we're on the 110 going south right now. We got 57 minutes. Sign up's not till 6.45. We're gonna get there at 5.17 right now. That's too flipping early. Cause I was like, you know, I wanna make sure we get out there pretty early just in case there's traffic, but oh well. At least we're reminiscing. That's Sandwich Plus right there. That's the freaking sandwich store my parents opened back in the day. Oh my gosh, I had to pull over. I can't believe this. This is McKernan family history. How funny that the Yukaipa one just recently. Sandwich Plus. 
This is literally the sandwich shop that my mom and dad opened up. I even have a joke about it, and I'm gonna do it tonight. It's closed. Closed at four. It's right by the gig. We were driving by and I got excited. And then we have time to kill. A lot of time to kill. We gotta stop by. I have a vlog in front of Sandwich Plus. Why Jackson's over here vlogging on his own. I wish we still had the merch. <laughs> Jackson, how do you feel about that? I was not expecting you to have like family memories out here in Orange County. I'm from Orange County. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. Well, I'm not like from there, but I was born out here. I lived here for like one year. Sandwich Plus, I love it. All right, we're gonna get food. All right, we're here. That's the brewery that we're performing at right there. Yeah, we're the first ones here. Do you feel like a loser being here so early? Kinda. No. No. I early don't. bird gets the worm. We want to go up somewhere, somewhere else. I do feel always feel stupid though, because then I'm like, hey, we're the only guys at this brewery. There's nobody at this brewery. Do you guys want anything? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Broke comics, okay? Where's the bathroom? I, I got coffee. Jackson, you've never been here, right? Have you ever performed in Orange County before? No. This is gonna be fun. This is a whole new experience for you. I'm excited. Even Mikey's though, hometown. There's nobody here. There's the bartender, that's it. Hopefully there'll be other comics here. This is what I like to do. I like to test, not test, but ask you like, how do you feel about your set? But since there's nobody here, do you feel anything? I feel less nervous. That's good. I feel like if there's less people, like for the first mic, it doesn't matter if you bomb or not, if there's only four people. I just want to make you proud. Me? Yeah. It's not for me. This is for you. Okay, it's for me. I want to make yeah. myself proud. That's good. I'm cool with this. I just wanted to... I drank coffee, now I'm wired. I shouldn't be drinking coffee, but I love it. I haven't done two mics in a night in quite some time, so hopefully we can get up early at this one, and then we'll go to Hennessy's in Costa Mesa and do a mix mic, which is probably going to be a nightmare, because nothing ruins a good music jam open mic than comedians. <laughs> It's funny, people always ask me all the time at my job, they're like, oh, like, they're like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, I'm doing a gig. They're like, that's cool, what's your band's name? I'm like, I do something worse. <laughs> I do stand-up comedy. I've all never right. done that. I'm excited for that experience. To what, say that you do comedy? No, just to cut off the music uh -oh. with my jokes. That one says it's only six minutes, so. All right, we're 15 minutes early before sign up. There's nobody here yet. We'll check in a little bit later. We'll be excited. I hope you're excited watching this. I'm being as entertaining as possible. You're doing a great job. I'm, I'm impressed at how like you can just entertain them in a parking lot. Like this? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we're in a parking lot. We're in an industrial parking lot. We should have found more things to look at. Like, oh, look at this history and stuff like that. But I was like, no, the history today is us bombing at this open mic. <laughs> That's history. That's where the comedy will be. There's nobody here. All right, guys, make it loud. Clap your hands for Mike Matheson. One more time for John. Will you clap for John? Come on. And the beer company, Beer Co. Highest form of whiplash? What does that even mean? I don't know. Oh, I get it now. That's because I have a catchphrase. I was really excited driving down here because I passed by a place called Sandwich Plus. Anybody over Sandwich Plus off of Tustin? I know it's not really popular, but my parents originally opened Sandwich Plus way before I was born. I'm 37 years old now, so it's been around for that long, and I was excited. I even pulled over to put it on my internet vlog. I'm on the vlog, by the way, if you guys, or I'm on the internet, on YouTube, please check me out. You guys, this video is gonna be up in about three months, so if you wanna find out who's not laughing, no, that's not what I meant. This is, <laughs> let me start over. <laughs> Whiplash! <laughs> that's what, this guy gets the most whiplash because nobody laughs at his jokes. All right. You know, my parents, they literally met in a shopping center. My dad had a mattress store next to my mom's meat market. They humped and opened up a sandwich shop. This is a true story. They were so poor, they even got married in the sandwich shop. They had the reception right in front of the chip stand. They only couldn't afford to exchange onion rings. <laughs> I was telling Rose though, I can never be a sugar daddy because diabetes does not run in my family. It lips. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Making women laugh. That's what, all we want to do in this world. Right guys? We just want to make the women laugh. People always ask like, I do a catchphrase, so they always, you know, like, ooh, you're like mocking stand-up comedy, are you anti-comedy? I'm like, no, people who say they're anti-comedy, are just being dramatic. I'm sorry if I made eye contact you during this set. I'm actually glad we both bombed. That's sick. 
All right, got done with the first one. Uh, I went up first to a dead room. The host didn't even do any time, just brought me up. But what, what can you expect? What can you expect out of these things? It's still daylight, can't you see? Daylight comedy, what a nightmare. The jokes I wanted to work on, I got out. I forgot one because I wanted to talk about the YouTube channel and stuff like that. Oh, there was another joke that I had. Oh my God, there's gnats everywhere. They're gonna get stuck in my clean air. I'm freaking out over here. I just wanna be real quick. Oh, they're getting my eyeballs too. I just wanna be real quick because we're gonna try to run to another spot but i enjoyed it that was fun six minutes beer company john don't know his last name he messed up my name when he went up but i don't care there's nets everywhere this guy's first time in orange county so you gotta give him a very loud welcome here make it loud for jackson Brick. hi everybody anybody here on tiktok Cool. I watched the Ukraine war unfold in front of my very eyes on a children's app. It was strange. And it made me wonder, what if we had social media for major historic events in the past? You know? Like you'd see Lincoln doing a speech live on Twitch. He'd be like, four score and seven years ago. And immediately somebody would comment, Lincoln can only score a four, ugly bearded ass bitch. <laughs> And then the spammers always trying to sell stuff, they'd be, they'd type, Lincoln freed the slave, sign up for Dollar Shave, link down below. Be strange. <laughs> uh, a little bit about me. I was born and raised in Hawaii. A lot of people ask me, you were born and raised in Hawaii, that makes you Hawaiian, right? No, that makes me afraid of Hawaiians. Any of you guys like basketball? Right on, cool. I like to play street basketball, but I'm not very good, so nobody wants me on their team. So I started taking mushrooms before going out, and now I'm on everybody's team. I'm like, hey, I'm open. Mind it. Jackson, how do you feel about your set, buddy? That was rough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, it was such a dead room. Everyone was reading their jokes. And then I like, I delivered the punchline and I just saw like seven people's heads go to their phones. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> Your first joke that came out of the gates was funny though. I like that one, that Lincoln joke. The Lincoln joke's funny. That one always gets a little laugh. And then your joke worked. Yeah, the one I gave him a little suggestion on, I liked it, even though you put too much word on it, but that's just, a, you know. I botched it, but it still worked. But that was fun though, right? It was great. I'm glad that we just like ate a dick. And yeah, went. ironic about it is we, it took an hour and 45 minutes to get here. We're an hour and 45 minutes early. And then we all for that, <laughs> all for that. <laughs> so dope. This is what we do. We want to capture this for you folks, okay? <laughs> Don't you understand? This is yeah. the life of the comic. All right, let's go to the next spot. I hope the next one goes better. All right, all right, all right, all right. You already know that I'm somewhere else or I'm at the next location. We're at the second mic. We're at Hennessy's in Costa Mesa. We're on the list. We're at the end of the list. Mixed mic, like I said, so there'll be music and comedy, music and comedy. But of course, there's not enough musicians with the comedy. So it's like musician, comedy, and then it's probably gonna be comedy, 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 comedy. But I'm excited. I'm excited. It's always so fun because the first one did not go as planned. Now I'm all like goosed up. I'm all geeked up for this next one. I think it's gonna be good. There's actually people at this bar and it's really funny because over there across that road was the last vlog I did, Harp In, yeah, right? We're back in Costa Mesa. Can't you go to different places? You go to the same places, Mikey. I don't care. Gonna work on Sugar Daddy again. I didn't do my joke pranks. Gotta try that again because I'm vlogging and I like talking about my YouTube channel when I'm up there because it's like, well, low key promoting. What do I have to do? Promote yourself more. Gosh, I'm so manic and neurotic. All right, but this is it right here. As he sets up his own shot. All right, we're at Hennessy's second mic of the night. How do you feel? My confidence is a lot lower. Really? It's crazy because I was watching you and you got pumped up. You were like, that went horrible. The next one's going to be sick. And I'm just like, dude, that went horrible. <laughs> the next one's gonna make me sick. Yeah, it's there's really, real people here. That's for yeah, for sure. This is awesome. And then again, now it's at fault again because I'm like, 
I'm trying here to work on new stuff, but there's real people and I want to be funny. No, I'm excited. I'll, I'll get the confidence. I'm going to not mess up the joke we wrote together this no, time. No, this was your concept of a joke you had and I helped you switch things up and now you don't want to take credit for it, but it's your joke. Don't feel joke. bad. I'm stoked, dude. This is dope. This was way <laughs> better than the first one. It's so funny because it's like all the comics were at the first one and I asked the host about, have you been to this one? He's like, no. I'm like, what are you talking about? There's real people here. But you're excited for your set, right? Yeah. Good. No, we're going to do it. You signed up before I did, so you're going on first. Yep. I have to follow you. Tough act to follow. <laughs> no, I'm taking I feel my like time. I, should be more, I should be more riffy. No, you. you don't have to worry about it. You have to just be yourself. All right, it should be fun. This is brought to you by Mikey McKernan. It's not funny industries. You've seen the stickers. Do open mics. Chase the dream. Costa Mesa to LA. Doesn't matter. So what's an hour drive? You love the 405. You love the 73 and the 55. Give Orange County some love. Buster does comedy. Are you doing comedy tonight? Uh, I'm not doing comedy. I'm going to play music. Do you have anything to plug? Um, Idiots United. That's uh, my band comedy show with Mario Rodriguez and Eric Cerrone. Idiots United. You can find us on Instagram. And if you like comedy and music and shows, we're the guys for you. Start the cameras, let's go! Guys, give them some good laughs. They, they brought cameras, they're serious. Hi everybody, how are you? I've been uh, exercising a lot lately, and I really like to play pickup basketball while I exercise. But I'm not very good, so nobody wants me on their team. So I started taking mushrooms, and now I'm on everybody's team. I'm open-minded. <laughs> a little bit about me. I was born and raised on Maui in Hawaii. I know that this doesn't scream paradise, but hey, I'm from there. Um, my friends always ask me, like, hey, you're from Hawaii, you were born and raised there. That makes you Hawaiian, right? No, that makes me afraid of Hawaiians. <laughs> I, uh, any of you guys on TikTok? I am on TikTok a lot. I remember when the Ukraine war came out, it was just this crazy situation where you watch this major historical event unfold on a children's app. You know, and it made me wonder, like, what if we had social media for major historical events in the past? You'd see Lincoln doing a speech, he'd say four score and seven years ago, and immediately somebody would comment, Lincoln can only score a four, ugly bearded ass bitch. Three hours later, Jackson. Jackson Briff. You gotta write your name clearly because they won't. So Is that they what don't. You said? Jackson Briff. They both said it tonight at both spots. They said Jackson oh, Briff. Oh, I do a little curve with my T's. You gotta stop curving your T's, dude. <laughs> I really do. People are saying Briff. I used to, I used to capitalize my I, and people would say Mickey, and I'm like, no, it's Mikey. How did you feel about that set? So much better. I didn't crush, but I had like everybody was listening the whole time. I got giggles throughout and I didn't feel horrible like the first place. The first place was so brutal. This one was like, people talk to me after, and when they talk to you after your set, that's a really good sign. 100%. That's why comics are so hard on ourselves, because if nobody comes up to us, we did not do good at all. But dude, you had a great set. I really enjoyed that. And that was perfect too, because we waited so long, and the room has definitely died down from what it originally was. But it's sometimes so good, it's because really nice. everybody just is chilling and listening, and when you can draw everybody's attention like that, you can slow burn it. But you didn't have a slow burn. You had good. That, it felt good. It felt comfortable. It felt like everybody was with me. When was the last time you hit two spots in a, in a night? A week or two? Oh, that's ago? good. See, yeah. for me, it's been a while. It's been a while. It felt so good to bomb and then get redemption. Yeah, and it's so it funny too, because it was this room was so much more lively earlier. How did you feel about the whole night of us vlogging together, doing comedy and such? So fun. That was awesome. Thanks for having me, man. Dude, that, was a, that was a really good time. I'm glad you called me, man. You reached out and you're like, let's collaborate. And I was like, let's do it, dude. Just for me, I would just like you to come on the vlog and just live the night of what? Open mic YouTubing comedians. That's what I like to call it. You did great. This was cool, dude. Please plug anything you got. You can check me out on For The Memoir on YouTube and TikTok. 
And then Instagram, I'm Jackson McCall Brit, not Briff. Brit with two T's. Two T's. Dude, thank you so much. Yeah. Terrific job. Thank you. Hey, keep it going for all the performers who went home. I like to wear all black when I go to work to pay respects to my free time. <laughs> I just started humping a girl that I work with. My friend was like, dude, that's a mistake. And I don't want to believe him, but he was right. Cause she's vegan and I miss steaks. Boo, ah, ah. I told this girl, I was like, you know, she's a little bit younger. I told her, I can never be your sugar daddy because diabetes doesn't run in my family. It limps. Boo, ah, ah. I'm gonna do this catchphrase the whole time, so. <laughs> I hope more people laugh. I'm sorry I have to look at my notes. I really don't care how much I do comedy anymore. No, I do. We brought our cameras out here. We want to make sure we let everybody know on the internet that we yeah. still suck. <laughs> All right, you guys are supportive. Good. I got a YouTube channel. Look it up, Mikey McKernan. Every time I say that, people are like, oh, you're doing pranks? I'm like, no, I don't know how to do pranks. Last time I prank called somebody, I said, hey, is your fridge running for president? <laughs> <laughs> All right, not everybody likes dry humor. <laughs> That's right. So far away, I don't know if it was worth it. Damn, I wish I was more prepared. I'm sorry, you guys. This is for the internet, for the internet. Whenever we do comedy and music, musicians are like, man, I wish I could be a comedian. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't want to come to an open mic and sign up with 26 lead singers. I would do anything to have somebody up here with me. No. I love you, though. Yeah, I always do that too as well when I always get off the mic. We're done. Second spot, Hennessy's. Not bad. I know, it's loud out here. There's motorcycles and such. That went pretty good. I actually really enjoyed that. Like I said, we had to wait three hours to go up. Oh, three. That's tough. I didn't like that. But still had a good time. I am mad at myself though because I kept forgetting jokes, damn it. Kept forgetting jokes. I'm so upset. I kept looking at my phone and to me that is faux pas. Don't look at your phone. But like I said, we're here to work. I worked on Sugar Daddy. I think it went pretty well. I enjoyed that one. There was another one that I had. I already forget. See, this is the problem. I always forget these bits. I always forget these bits. I wish I was more organized. But I'm a little tired. Can't lie. We started this day. I went to pick up Jackson at 3.30 and now it's about 11.10. Tired. Two spots in one night. Feels good. Feels productive. I know you're not booked, but still, you gotta get out there, get on the horse, work on these bits, create the content. That's it. Another night of stand-up adventure vlogs in the book of YouTube. Thank you so much for clicking, for liking, for subscribing. Again, never seen these videos before and you're enjoying this, please subscribe. Please. If you know anybody who's into stand-up comedy and wants to be a stand-up comedian, send them these videos, okay? Share. Share with your friends. Please follow me on Instagram, at Mikey McKernan. Also, my website, MikeyMcKernan.com. That's where you'll see my dates. I'm also going to put the dates in my Instagram bio. That's going to be the number one spot. Where are you? And if you see any cities that are specific that you have questions about, just send me one of them messages. I'll be glad to answer. Thank you. Thank you. One love.